Hello, hello. Is it all good in chat land? Good morning, everybody. Welcome in and happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope y'all are doing fantastic today. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Prima, congrats on that 85 stream streak. Congrats. Good morning, Metal Spider. Good morning, Grima, and hello, Deck. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh. Flaminica is serving for four more months. Aww. Another months. Another tier three to Aria. More money to the boss. Oh, thank you, Flaminica. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the four month resub. Thank you so much. Enjoy those perks once again, and welcome back to the Office of Shades Layer group, even though you never officially left. Welcome back. Good morning, Dark. Good morning. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Metal Spider on that 85 stream streak as well. Congrats. Congratulations. Very, very good. Goodness gracious. 85 streams. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. <laughs> That's a lot of streams in a row, you guys. Maddie, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Doing good? Just finished studying and going to chill with y'all. Hey! Awesome! Glad you got your studying that you wanted done. CD, welcome in as well. Just doing our duty, ma'am. Aw, <laughs> appreciate it. Wow, 85. I can barely get three. It's okay, Deg. It's okay. Life happens. Well, how is everybody this fine Tuesday morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is for you? No, Chevy, you're not late. We just started. Not late at all. That's mostly your fault, boss, because you're so cool and fine. Oh, gosh, Dark. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you. That's really sweet. Hey, yo, Mega Rock, welcome in. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing fantastic today. Three stream streak, but sadly, I will be going to university on Wednesday morning, so I'll be heading to bed. Alrighty, Squid James. Good luck with the university. Hope you have a good night's rest. Stay sharp, Squid James. I'm having such a- I'm having such a good time, I'm having a ball. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Phlegm in the throat. <clears throat> goodness gracious. Sparkling wine oh. is a specialty of Mondstadt. Mix it with three parts dandelion wine, and the bitterness disappears completely. This concoction is known I'm as thirsty. Death, death in the Afternoon. afternoon. Delectable. Oh my goodness, thank you for the line redeem dark as well as the hydrate as well. <sighs> yeah, we've been getting a lot of Kaya and Lee lately. I might have to add some other characters in there to balance it out. <laughs> Hanging in there though, I think I need something else to eat. It's just been pizza lately. Yeah, get something else in your system other than pizza. That'd be a wise thing to do. You know? What's a good palate cleanser? Rice. Rice is a really good palate cleanser. You can season it however you want. Put a majority of different kinds of produce and vegetables with it. Mmm. Good stuff. Maybe I'm just speaking because I had stir fry for dinner last night. <laughs> I don't know. Two days until my birthday! Woo! Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Stupid phlegm, goodness gracious. <laughs> Always glad to help. Eee. Rice sounds good right now? Oh, yes. Or Prussian salad with some apple, celery, and green pepper. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of salad, but that actually does really sound good. Been craving fried rice lately? <gasps> Oh, ho ho. Fried rice. Let's go. I have a law and public safety class at my school, and I'm going to have a mock trial on Monday. 
Well, this is a perfect practice for it then, I would say. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. for me, so it's time for some Nutella on white bread. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's Nutella. I ain't gonna complain about Nutella. Gonna try to be either a judge or a district attorney. Ooh, I see, I see. This is gonna come as a shock. I won't be heading to school that day. <gasps> what? No, not going to school on your birthday? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. You have fun. Fried rice is perfect. Oh, yeah. Fried rice is delicious. <laughs> Um, oh goodness. I'm curious though, for those of you who've had fried rice, do you prefer pork, chicken, or uh, steak in your fried rice? Or none at all, or no meat at all, just the vegetables. I'm thirsty. Thanks for the hydration. Objection! Wait, you're objecting to me taking a drink? No water for you! <laughs> no water for you. Objection. Well, guess what? Objection overruled. Ah. <laughs> uh. I bought Mario vs. Donkey Kong today. Ooh! Nice. I'm glad I get to take a bit of a break from Mario and Monkey. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, I don't know, am I? Hmm. I go no meat. It's either fried rice with veggie or eggs. Ooh. Egg fried rice is delicious. Got the inspiration for being a DA from Law & Order. Oh, I love Law & Order. That's a good show. I prefer chicken in my fried rice. Mm. Pork is a classic, but I'm a sucker for beef. Yes, beef. That is me all the way. I like red meats. I like red meats. What about NCIS or FBI? I have not seen those. Q Law and Order theme. Ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -da -bum. I've had it stuck in my head for like weeks now. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty then. Without further ado, bless you! I think it's time to get started here. I uh, hope y'all are ready for some lawyering. Because it's gonna be absolutely... Absolutely amazing. Hold on. If I can get the tab set up here. There we go. <clears throat> All righty. Let's do this. All right. Ah! Whoopsies. Last time, we ended case three. So we finally got done with Turnabout Big Top. Kevix, welcome in. FYI, I have been to New York City before. Ooh. Oh, duck with rice? Ooh. Normally I have rice with chicken curry. Oh my gosh, you guys are making me hungry. You guys are gonna make me hungry. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, Yes, this is the final case of the game. Finally done with Big Top. We're out of the cringe, yes. All right, we are on to episode four. Farewell my turnabout. Oh, this one is gonna be intense. Uh, even a little bit infuriating, but not cringe, just a little infuriating. I just hope y'all will be ready for this. Okay. Oh, just a note. Whoa. Just a note. The Ace Attorney case is from here on. Um, do get very dark. And there are lots of dark topics mentioned in this case, especially. So, if you're not comfortable with that, please leave for your own comfort's sake. But if you're okay with it, then stick around and we'll enjoy the show. All right. All right, bye, Chevy. No problem. Enjoy your time. Stay sharp. 
All right, let's do this. Yeah, brace for darker topics. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Who will be this year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? Hero of heroes, hmm? Will it be the last year's runner-up, Jamie Ninja? Or maybe Captain Saipan? I see the students of a certain sorry school are raring to win, and global hero, Ani Kopon doesn't want to go home without a prize. We hope Lady Luck is all with all our heroes tonight. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix is me! Who? Oh? Whoa! The true hero of the night has appeared in our midst! Whoa! It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to this fantastic warrior. The Nickel Samurai! Too bad, Jeremy Ninja. Looks like the title eluded you again this year. Woo! I see, Dark. Why was I expecting Midoriya to show up here? Yes, but we have the Nickel Samurai. Another Samurai case. Another Samurai case. This feels familiar. All right! Yes! Did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai! He did it! Yeah, sure did. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. Ah, <laughs> I'm proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Hey, it's Will Powers! What's up, Powers? Good to see you. And out of jail. <laughs> As well. I guess he got the prize? Yup! You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai! You know, every Sunday I only watch the Education Channel's Kids Masterpiece Theater. Oh my gosh. Pearly is such a responsible kiddo. I, I can't imagine turning on the TV to only watch educational stuff. Hero of Heroes? The huge... Huge Ben 10,000 flashback. Oh my gosh, I see. Sit up. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. <laughs> Dang, Maya. I don't think she really had a choice because of her mom also. That's true. <laughs> Phoenix, give me the trial. <laughs> That's right, but I do like kids' masterpiece theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. Um, well, Pearl would be very disappointed in me then. <laughs> Very important. Aw, give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Uh, it's like a dream. Too bad for the gem and ninja, though. Last year, he lost to the Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. Oh, yeah, that show. I think Pearl would be disappointed in all of us. Do you think so? I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey, did anyone else think that the Jam and Ninja looked a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? How's that going, Mr. Firefly? Pearl, you've got a lot to learn about people and age. <laughs> yeah. I have this canon in my head that after we finish the game, Arya has adopted Pearly because she's a good bean. Um, well... Pearly has... <clears throat> Pearly is with her parent, with her in Karine village, so let's not steal the child, please. Um, 
Well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, why? Train would walk around without his signature guitar. <sighs> I will never understand these people and their shows. I don't, uh, I, I mean, I understand entirely. More like hanging out with Pearly a lot. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Powers, I'm thank you thirsty. so much for tonight. Oh, it was nothing. Oh, you were, so it's my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on, it's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. A press conference? Are you gonna make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Eh? Also, thank you for the hydrate. Eh, but then again, who walks around with a guitar? That's gotta be tiring after a bit of walking. Yeah, well, you know. A signature, uh, it's a signature item of the signature item of the Jam and Ninja. It's a little weird that he doesn't have it with him. You need to watch stuff suited for your age. But I like watching Spongebob. I mean, hey, it's fine. Exactly, Mega Rock. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ah, Nick! Come on! You don't want us to be the last ones there, do you? Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. <laughs> well, <laughs> whale, whale, whale. What do we got here? <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, uh, it was nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often. So I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers. What have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kid's exercise show while wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headache it caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Oh, what's in the past is in the past, Powers. Ah, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. That's what I was saying. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai. And he was the first case Maya worked on with me. It's too bad you look scary. Or people know you're a real softie who's good with kids. Um, thanks. What do you mean it's too bad? It's a cool lion's mane? Oh yeah, it is. I can't believe they're going to make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but it's for a different reason. The Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate, in the city of Mio, Tokyo. And last year, they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seemed to be a hit with the kids, too. I'm really attached to the Steel Samurai as a show, so I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, too bad. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Ongard. Ah, that's a name drop. Pay attention to that. He's super popular right now. Mr. Ongard? Looks like Pearl doesn't know who he is. This year, it's going to be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jam and Ninja at the box office. Jam and Ninja? Who's that again? <laughs> this samurai reminds me of Ultraman. Ooh, interesting. So who is this Jam and Ninja again? He's a hero, duh. The symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in his hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star. 
There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Metal Samurai and Worldwide Studios German Ninja. Global Studios and Worldwide Studios. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh? <clears throat> very, very creative naming there. Matt on guard, not Matt on guardy, like one person I heard say. Wait, really? Someone said that? Huh. Not very stealthy for a ninja. No, not really. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. The Nickel Samurai's on guard and the guy who plays the Jammin' Ninja, I mean. The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Mad On Guard, the actor. I guess even the world of heroes is in a sparkling happy place. Yeah. One studio sounds like a subdivision of the other. Kinda! If Aria was a superhero, she'd have a pink outfit with some angelic beams to it. <laughs> Yay, Phoenix knows it's French. Yeah, he does. Of course he does. Wow. What's with this place? Looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Hmm. Interesting. And yes, one time playing Justice for All, someone read to me uh, Matt's name like that. Uh, interesting. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Juan Corita's room. Juan Corita. The name just sounds like the just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. Hmm. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Matt Ongar's room. Matt Ongar. I've heard that name before. Oh yeah, Maya's always yammering about him like the obsessed fan she is. There are toilets in each room in this hotel. But since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. <laughs> oh goodness. What is a polar bear's favorite food? Chili fries? Oh my gosh. Sounds like the post ceremony show is about to start. All right. I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today. Nickel Samurai smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession the Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? So you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not to steal samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Bah. So sorry. Ah, so I guess you're all going to the press conference then? Yeah, of course. If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Press conference ticket. Seems like the Nickel Samurai is to confess something after the post-ceremony stage show. My fangirling is nothing compared to Arya's. Oh, jeez. Well, thank you very much. Well, let's going to get going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, for great justice. All right, to the hotel lobby. Only a really gaudy hotel would have to have such a large, gaudy lobby to match. Uh, I think they're going to have the post-ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, I see. Oh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight. Due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow! You didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. 
So please, stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. Huh? P police? Did they just say police? You want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait. I'll come with you. Great! You two! Didn't you hear the announcement just now? Oh, wait, what? Whose voice was that? That voice. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Oh! I know who it is now. Honestly, you these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they talk. <sighs> oh boy. I know who this is. Just the other day, it was the same thing. There was smoke for Blah, 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 blah. No. Not you, please. Oh. Uh. It's non-stop chatter. It can't be. Miss Old Bag? What is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Wait, you! Your powers, are you? Yeah, yeah. Um, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show, and you're a hoot. You're the big brother character, right? And even with your face covered by a mask, I know you're that giant rabbit. What a work of art. No, 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 no. Ah! Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Wendy Oldbag. We met her. We met her in the first Ace Attorney game in Case Three, and uh. Ha! I can't read. She is one of the characters that is, uh, the infuriating part of this game. What a hag! <laughs> yes, she is. Um, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell me I'm a member of security! But that outfit... Annoying noisy brats get the blaster! Oh! Only time we can use this quote well. Oh, hey! Hi! Miss Oldback, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place! Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they cut the security team, I got the pain slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you youngin! Oh, you remember? That incident a year ago! When this lady got on the witness stand and testified! Yeah... And you! Weren't you the one who was bullying me? This fragile girl at heart! No... Doing cross-examination, ma'am. That's it. Um... I know! I'm... Ugh. Um... I plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the other management the wrong way by testifying. Yeah, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. But me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first after being handed old Pinky. You? A bodyguard? Or your friend? That fiery good looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. No! No! Stay away from Edgeworth! Y you did- you traumatized him enough in- <laughs> You traumatized him enough in that case. Leave him alone. Right, Maya wasn't completely there during the trial at the time. Yeah, she wasn't. Mr. Edward? But... That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. Ooh! Yes! Shot down, Edward! Shot down! That's what he said to me. Whatever did I do to deserve that? I don't know. Real, I don't know, really. Goodness gracious, this woman. Um, so did something happen? I don't 
don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. An incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> that pipe was so good. That pipe timing was so good. You're just like, shut up, old bag. <laughs> that was perfect. Good timing with the metal pipe, Vanica. Um, shouldn't you quit being a security guard? At least for other people's sake. Silence, whippersnapper. Hey, Nick. What is it? I don't like that devilish smile playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. No way. The police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Huh? How boring! You're such a boring guy. You've got no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? Are you two pearls? Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. This one time at lawyer camp, Nick? Okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. Yay! I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just realized Miles said troublesome in that mini flashback. You're not a Nara, Miles. <laughs> Old bag of headaches is what this woman is. Mm-hmm. That's right! You'd walk over miles of hot coals for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we worked a case together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already! You can come along too, Pearly! Daddy! I get to come! I get to come! Are you sure it's okay for us to bring the child? Are you sure about that, uh, Maya? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Pearl is a little protector. Yes, she is. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we'd better go look somewhere else. All right, then let's try... Excuse me. Ah! Are you by any chance Miss Maya Fay? Um... Yeah, that's me. Oh, goodness. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Crime Village. What's wrong, Mystic Maya? Hello, bellboy. That is rather creepy. Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead and I'll be right there, okay? Okay. Right this way, Miss Faye. now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting. And a little scary. Oh, it'll be fine! Arya get Pearly to experience things she hasn't before. It'll be great. Uh, yes, but still. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. Interesting scar he got going down the middle of his face. Yeah! Totally not terrifying at all hmm not suspicious at all hmm i told you i get people the info they want which means i've got a right to know nope don't care who you are pal we're still investigating so you can't go in what's your problem just don't wait it'll be all over the morning paper Scrappy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see. I'll get. You'll see. I'll get you right back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean. Hey, Ron. <laughs> hey, Lotta. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Lotta. <laughs> it really is turning about samurai all over again. Yep, it is. Come on, do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm doing my job and I've got rights. 
Ah, you! Ah, uh, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her the only the police are allowed. This is the scene of a murder. She should leave this to the pros. A, a murder? Ah, oh, shoot, me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said, and it's what it is. A genuine murder. Hey, wait! Yeehaw! A murder of a big star, no less! Oh, man. I'm in trouble now. Gumshoe. Oof. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. So, Detective Gumshoe. A murder? Ah, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick? Is that person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mr. Maya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. Whoa! Oh boy! What? The guy that died was his hero named the Jammin Ninja, pal. The Jammin Ninja. Oh boy. Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy. You mean Lotta? That woman. She was there that time too, right? That time? When Mr. Maya did that channeling. Oh, that time. Well, Lotta's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist. It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding in front to wait in front of the Jammin' Ninja's door, pal. But, but why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just something about getting my big scoop. Big scoop? What sort of news could she be after? I'm glad I'm not the I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees Lotta's hair as cotton candy. I mean, it's hard not to see it as cotton candy if you're being completely honest here. It just makes sense. So the victim was the Jammin Ninja? Mr. Jammin Ninja? It was on the really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. The victim was the action star, Juan Corita. He got a huge push and rode the express trains to start him. I mean, even I know. Yeah, even I recognize his face. I heard lately that Matt ongard has been taking the wind out of his sail. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, those two are hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. Yeah, poor Mr. Powers. Mr. On Guard, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. I mean, no! You gotta say with more, uh, the Nickel Samurai! Anyway, so now that one Creed is gone, that means Mr. On Guard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. You can't have that happen, you know? You can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Goodness gracious, it's all going insane. Goodness gracious. I gotta adjust my camera. Alright, there we go. Matt looks like a Leon Kennedy imitator, and it is Capcom, so. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, let's see. What can we do? So Matt Ongard, huh? Well, we learned more about Juan Corrida. What about Matt Ongard? Poor Gumshoe is always getting bullied in these games. I know. The Nickel Samurai. He really took the Grand Prix tonight. Maya's a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Matt Ongard was just arrested, pal. 
on suspicion of murdering Juan Corita. What? Whoa. Oh boy. Well, why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I could tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another Steel Samurai hero is in hot water. Yeah, and guess who's gonna have to fix it? Us. Um, Mr. Nick, if Miss McMaya knew about this... Yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case. I know. Poor Gumshoe is always getting bullied, yes. Wait, I just said that. Gumshoe, don't mention a murder in front of a child. Well... I mean, she is right there with us, you know. You kind of can't blame me for that. Oh, wait, go back. Gosh, so much death. Might as well rename this to Phoenix Wright Death Attorney. Oh my gosh. Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Corita has been killed. What? Juan is... He's... It looks like he was murdered. And a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt Ongar. You're joking, right? Nope. They arrested the Nick Samurai on suspicion of murdering the Jammin' Ninja. Oh. Not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something just like this happened, Pearl. I still can't believe. No way. No way, Matt. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this this is for you, Mr. Wright. Oh? A walkie-talkie. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. A bellboy? Could it have been the same bellboy that was talking to Maya? For me? But why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Hmm. Interesting. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but... Get that and fuel to the fire of his rivalry with Juan anyway. Mr. Juan, he's the German ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. Jeez. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. Juan said he'd take Matt out on, on take Matt on this time, so we joined a rival TV show. And that was the German Ninja? The stylish nickel samurai and the burning German Ninja. Well, things turned messy real fast with those two using their shows for their war. And for final jelly, look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's totally not suspicious. Mr. Ongard was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Hold on, I need water. <sighs> so if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, you're supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference I'm that way. I'm thirsty. Hey, better hydrate. Going to be in costume? But why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. Now that she mentioned it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. Oh. What's that noise? Ah! W what is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? I... I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Y yes Hello? 
right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. Such as... Maya? So, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? The fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This is... No! This can't be! Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney... I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return you to your to return to you your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. My sight. Everything's fading away. Maya. Maya's been kidnapped. Are you there? Mr. Attorney, are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Yeah, this is major serious, you guys. Hurry up and state your condition, and then return my money is not what I see. What? what I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What, what in the world have you done to need? I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan Corrido was killed, and the suspect is mad on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for mad on guard. Mad on guard? But why? He did not kill him. I can attest to that. However... <laughs> However... However, what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain. You are, of course, at liberty to take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me, in my possession. You have two days. Of course, tonight you will be in questioning with the police. The trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. W one? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you, so don't let me down. Ah! Oh yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say... And don't even think about calling the cops. <laughs> Not great, but you get the idea. Whoa, language! Who... Who the hell are you? Very well, I'll tell you that. My name is... The Killer. I 
think we I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, who knows what'll happen to Maya? Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh, not so loud. The ransom is complete acquittal for Matt Ondar. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya, you mean? Then this means Matt Ongard is obviously the killer, pal, no doubt about it. The guy said that Mr. Ongard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. Ongard really is innocent. Why the kidnapper? On top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensic team's having a field day back there. Oh. That's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about on guard being set up? Mmm, too much evidence, huh? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. So sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Alright. Is there another way? You've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. Alright. Killer probably pulling the strings as we speak. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we meet our kidnapper, the killer. Mm -hmm. Ow. My head. Where? Where am I? Hey, and now we're in Maya's perspective. I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. W what happened to me? Nick. Pearly! Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. I see that you have awoken. Ah! Who, who, who are you? Me. I am known as the killer. D the killer? You mean like an assassin? I'm too young to die. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now. Ah! Nick, Nick, where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now. And that's Mr. Phoenix Wright. Slayer, welcome in! Huh? What? Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. A, a business transaction? I am going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick. What's going to happen to me? Nick. Early. This Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerned yourself with, such as... Hmm... Enjoy your break, Dark! What kind of shady business practice is this? I know, right? Good morning! Ah, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, come on! Let's hurry and go see Mr. On Guard! We have to wait a bit, Pearl. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Ah, uh, innocent Maya. If only... If only I had gone with you. Poor Pearls. She's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her. By the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick! Missing Maya! She's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her. 
You can trust me on that. Please. Please help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected. This Pearls is doing the crying for both of us. Oh my goodness, poor Pearly. Um, I have a thought. His stash and eyebrows make it look like he's creepy smiling, and that monocle looks like a giant soulless eye. Uh-huh. Feet! Welcome in! How are you? Hope you're doing well. Huh? Yeah, uh, Beat, you just w uh, you just missed the beginning of the case, so we have our uh, defendant, and we have someone who's kidnapped Maya for ransom for an acquit uh, acqu acquittal. So yeah, that's lovely. You're going to represent Mr. Ungard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, what if, what if he... The real murderer. What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Hmm. Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Miss McMaya? Pearls. Let's talk to Mr. Ongard first, okay? We can think all about the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I, I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, poor Pearly. Poor Pearly. Girls, you're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I... I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Your family? My father. He left my mother and the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And... my mother... She did that thing. All for me. Hmm. Miss Maya. She's like a sister to me. She's all I have left in this world. Oh, poor Pearly. I don't know who you are, but I have a certain set of skills. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, like I said, getting into some pretty dark topics here. I couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin' Ninja. And there he is! Mr. Matt Ongard himself! Good, good morning. How are you today? Hmm. I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Hmm. Um, we're... Oh, sorry, dude. Huh? I already signed up. E excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know. Oh, no, no, no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Huh? Fire extinguisher. I mean, this building isn't my house, so... Really? Are you... Are you an idiot? <laughs> no, no, no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? Uh. The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? Yeah. Huh. I think strange is an understatement. I do like this theme though too. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer dude, right? The manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick! This is our chance! I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. Goodness gracious. Mad on guard is uh, a character. <laughs> Pearl, I promise I'll deal with the situation very maturely. Proceeds to beat the crap out of the butler. <laughs> also, how does he have a wrist phone? I'll assume the cops didn't know. Yeah! Might be best to just not question that. 
sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Uh, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography is coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm gonna be a real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? Mr. Rangon is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Hmm. Yeah, is this allowed? I don't know. Mr. Ondor, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this as a tabloid for a side job, dude? I, no! For crying out loud! Um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, 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 I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Again! Hold on a sec, I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? president said, even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, what's your name? What's Neo Mount Fuji? The mountain is the city of Neo Tokyo, the city the Nickel Samurai protects. You know what? Please, just... Mr. Ondo, this is an attorney fact. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like this. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. Dude! Dude! Bruh! Saint Seiya woke him in! I'm losing brain cells, alright. I don't have the time to take a lawyer's correspondence for you. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance? Then extinguishers? That was this! Goodness, this guy. Really? <sighs> How do we convince him to take the case? To let us take the case? Mr. Nick, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet. I figured I could at least show it to you. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present or something. Hmm? Interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. It's coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Huh? What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. We're going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yeah, while you were in costume mode. Uh, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. Whoa! That's strange. Oh, nice, Saint Seiya. That's awesome. I hope he liked it. Do we have to mention you know who? I have a feel bad for Phoenix with the kind of people he has to deal with. Oh, yeah. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know? That's odd. Well, dude, I think it's time for me to get going. Please wait. I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Man, oh man, lawyers these days. All you do is use kids as bullying clients, too? If you don't take me as your client, then the killer is going to- hmm. Wait, what did you just say? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. Hmm. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? 
I'll let you represent me in court. Oh, as soon as we mentioned to kill her, he finally cracks. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. Doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. Oh. Well, at least we'll get straight answers from him now. Man, I thank my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero. And you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Is that mean I'm not a good citizen? Oh, Pearly! Ah, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep forgetting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and sec secretaries right now. I guess Mr. On Guard is a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. Everyone loves a good scandal. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Uh... It's not Turnabout Big Top Dead, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Burrito was already dead at that time? Yeah, that's why I gathered anyway from my manager. We need to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. Huh. Interesting. Out of the blue, huh? About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corita. What sort of... That got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face is, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. We wanted to try to make a jamming ninja movie, even though we know it failed. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. But why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, things would be the other way around, you know? Yeah. That would be pretty... That is pretty weird. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Gemma Ninja's costume. A what? I don't get it either. I was caught in the police of my samurai man. Hakama. <gasps> Dude, I really think someone planted it there. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. Hmm. I guess this is about all I'm going to get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. Amgar to see if he really is innocent or not. W we can do that? Yes! If you use this... Right, the Magatama! Good thinking, Curly. Why is Magatama? He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. Get it. Mr. Ongar, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Wan Korea? Hmm. Please put the phone away and answer the question yourself. Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corita, okay? Mmm, no Cyclops. He's telling the truth. Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock in sight. Which means, it's alright for us to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Uh, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. <sighs> hmm. Interesting.
interesting. This is already an interesting start, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> oh, all right, though. I'm going to take my break real quick. <sighs> I'll take my break real quick, and I will be right back. <sighs> Get some more water and stuff. All right. Don't go anywhere, everybody. I will be right back, and we'll continue on with the investigation. BRB! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Let us go ahead and... Let's go ahead and continue on with this investigation, shall we? Thank you, thank you, everybody. 
All right, let's do this. Got back with some tea and sandwiches. Mmm, yum. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do this. So we know that Matt on guard didn't kill anybody. Hmm, interesting. Question to everyone, how much brain cells are we going to lose this case? Not as many as before. That's not as many as Turnabout Big Top, that's for sure. Well, at least we're able to get Mr. On guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow. We only get this one chance. There's only way to prove Mr. On Guard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking. All right, and with Pearly as our assistant, ninety percent of our brain cells will be gone. <laughs> That's fair. With Turnabout Big Top, like a hundred percent of our brain cells were gone. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you! What is going on around here? Uh, um... I heard Bull Juan was killed! Is that true? It's a bad rerun is what this is! Another skill samurai doing the most evil of deeds! Um, you know... Ha! No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know I'm a huge fan of Juan! Wow, wow, do all the stars I'm interested in drop one, drop one by one like flies. It's always been that way ever since I was a little girl. And no, 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 no. Not even gonna try. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder of my cat. Don't push me, boy. Uh, just a minute. Huh? <laughs> yeah, huh? Ah. I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. This old bag, let me speak a little slower. Don't boss me around, you spiky hair, smart I'm pants! Thirsty. Thank you for the high treat. Alright. And now we have to talk to Old Bag. Of course we do. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder! And only recently did I find the star that makes my heart go badum again. I don't know what to say. I ask you why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I watch your words! No one gets away with anything! Hold on! Words! No one's gonna get away with saying anything bad about my wand! I haven't said it. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro in the horrible country what accent. Doing? What doing? We're continuing our investigation so that we can figure out, uh, prove Matt, guard, Matt on guard innocent. Mega Rock Dark wasn't there during the Steel Samurai case, I believe, in game one. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? Or why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. Oh, God, no. Oh, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Young and stay. I'm guessing this old bag heard everything from Lana. Oh boy, and now Lotta's involved in this as well. Just great. Just perfect. I think it's funny Worthy and Old Bag could have been a thing. Uh-uh! I don't find that funny at all. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterward. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. I see. But... Hmm? If you're talking about what I saw, that's different. 
I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. Well, what did you see, old bag? The most important moment? It only... Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you sneak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? Ha! Ah, no. Can we get some tape and, oh, I don't know, tape her mouth shut? That would be nice. Our first one with four. Oh boy. This is a really tight secret. Oh boy. Ooh, this is intense. Please don't stray onto another tangent. Please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. I really miss Mia. <laughs> All right, all right, let's keep going. We gotta keep investigating. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up our sleeves and try, I guess. Hmm. It would, does sound pretty hard, huh? Four, and it's her. Jeez, I know. Mm. Hey! You're here! I've been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lana. Hey! Mr. Cockfella! The thief showed his face! Whoa, what? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! Whoa, what's wrong, Lana? Are you feeling alright? Look here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Uh, what are you looking for? My camera! Camera! It's my lifeblood. I'm gonna die without my $700 camera. Camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always go back to the scene of the crime? We didn't steal any camera, Lotta. Jeez. And looky looky, here you are. Yep, here I am. Faced with a lot of trouble. Yeah, a lot of trouble. So you lost your camera. That ain't no ordinary camera. Your baby in it, you buy it in the store and it's 1600 brand new. Huh? But well, didn't you just say you bought it for 700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itty bitty scratch on him. The manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it, too. He done made me cry that bad. Why did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. Maybe that's when I lost sight of my dear darling expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera? I don't rightly know. I stamped a shot of anything that caught my eye. I don't remember. Insides, couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if a lot of missing cameras even connected to the murder. A very expensive item valued at $1,600 was stolen around the time of the murder. I wonder if Pearl missed me as like I do. I don't know. Unintended joke, but fitting, Nick. Uh huh. Can't picture where it could be. Oh my gosh. Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ongar was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure went to you sure you went to school, city boy? Whenever a lot of hard goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Rick, of course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what the scoop should be after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Yeah. 
That'd be pretty hard. Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy info, so I thought for myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? Whoa! Whoops! Sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Haha, <laughs> yeah! Take that, Mr. Lawyer! Glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta, in your eye will you smile. Oh, goodness. Two. Yep. Two. Hey, Feifei! Remember to smile and know you're important and you matter. Thank you, Feifei. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Oh, boy. Goodness gracious. So now we've been stopped by two different people. Crazy. We're trying to solve a murder. Give us the info. Well, they ain't gonna do that that easily. If it were that easy. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Ongard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Oh! Hello! Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ongard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off, either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, all right. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Oh, boy. Adrian Andrews. What a... Hmm. Phew. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes, that's correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ongard. In the very room, I might add. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you. I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, nice card with a shell on it. When the award show was starting, I headed for the Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ongard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? He really held strong through everything. Yeah, he does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so, about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ongard and I are related, are you? So, sorry. I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. Why did she have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ongard's manager. His manager. Speaking of managers, the victim, Mr. Corita, have one? No, he did not. Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios, in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. On my left, I have Mia, and on my right, Miss Andrews, I can't choose. Oh, goodness, Saint Seiya. I'm waiting for the rest of chat's reaction as we go now, as we go. Mm-hmm. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. 
Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this. Honestly. You're wrong! I... I'm doing this to help Missing Maya! Girls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? <laughs> oh, poor girl. <laughs> Aww. Girl is such a sweetheart. Goodness gracious. What do you know about the victim, though? Juan Carita. Excuse me? What do you mean, excuse me? Did you know the victim, Mr. Carita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. Saint Seiya... Maya was kidnapped. <laughs> oh, I meant to say Andrew's being a drug to Pearl. Well, she's... Uh, was more she was more driving at Phoenix. Because she was blaming him for carry taking her around. Looks like they ate T-bone steaks as well. Another callback to the past. Mm-hmm. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, they maybe would no one would have needed to die. Objection! Huh? Shut up, hunch. This woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Corito was killed. You have to know something. Do you have any ideas? As to... As to why Mr. Corito was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? Oh! Oh my gosh! Another one! M Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is that a cyclop, Mr. Nick? Yes. There's getting to be more and more of these things. Yeah, I'd say so! Jeez Louise. Achoo! Excuse me! Ah! Rita's room. Whoa! That's a lot of bears. That's a lot of bears. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Corita's room, girls. Mr. Corita? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you! So, what's happened? The kidnapper. Has he contacted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we mend Mr. Ongard's acquittal. Uh, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want Maya to be alright. You don't have a lot of time left, but I'm gonna help you as much as I can, pal. Let's go! Gumshoe! Woo! Gumshoe gonna help us! Can we do that? Even if we want to look around the crime scene, just this once. Special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know. You gotta keep it quiet. My neck on the line. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map! <laughs> That's great, girls. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. <laughs> oh, my heart! Oh. I 
That's so cute. I love Furly so much. Aiden, welcome in. All right. Cause of death. You know what was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report is now yet, but one look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should? Yeah, here's a picture. Oh! There's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal, that's a murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down the lap right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep. And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Mr. On Guard's prints, pal. That's bad. Real bad. You ain't kidding! Yeah, he dead. He's very dead. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Perito, really put up a big fight. Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, his button came off. Mr. On Guard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got, called in, got caught in his taco box. But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Who, who is it? That lady, Miss Oldback. That's why she has so many Cyclops. Ooh. Please. Anyone but her. The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around where the Vic was a little off. Something that was a little off? As in... As in that's for you to figure out, pal. Oh, right. Let's try to figure it out, Mr. Dick. All right. Guess we better do some investigating. What a hag. Yep. That would be old bag. The old hag. That's why we have to deal with her to get the rest of the info. Uh-huh. It certainly does seem that way, huh? Huh? It looks like Mr. Farida had dinner last night. This bottle, it's tomato juice. Tomato juice is delicious. Hi, BBZ, welcome in. I see a rice cooking cooker in the right corner of the panel. I think you're right. We had a lot of food at the award show last night. I wonder if the stars had gone on stage or after only eating a meager meal like this. Hmm. It's a beautiful wine glass and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. More for me, Pearly. More, more for me. No, not I. It wasn't why Andrews had so many Cyclops. It's why Old Bag had so many Cyclops. There's a bottle of it on that table over there. That's probably where this came from. But it doesn't seem weird. What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. Hmm. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? Ah. Oh. That's a good question, Pearly. Three stream streak. Yay! Congrats on the three stream streak, DBZ. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Farida fought his assailant. Where are these bits of glass from? A flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? I'll take my tomato soup with grilled cheese, please. Mmm. Heck yes. I would love that. Oh. What the? This is a guitar case. It's a little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? The Mystic Maya. She said the bright red guitar was the Jammin' Ninja's signature item. That's true. Huh? The 
this guitar case is wet. But it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Now next to the victim. Empty. There is some water, but it's only on the top of the lid. Hmm. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's show these to the detective, see what he thinks about it. So about this wine glass. Congrats on the three stream streak as well, Mr. Megaroth. Congrats. That's okay, guys. For those of you who don't like tomatoes, that's okay. There's more for me. <laughs> I'll take them. Ah, so you noticed it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective, don't you? No, actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first. And, of course, it's Von Karma. Yeah. Pearl's noticed it before me, too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Especially if she catches you in here. Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the hunt the thousand meter dash. What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm. I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened the last time. Sorry, gotta make myself scarce. Later, pal. Ow! <sighs> At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you. Ow! Jeez, jeez, Francisca, calm down! Ow! Hey, don't you dare run away, Scruffy McTrenchcoat! Ah! Uh. I didn't think the detectives of this country could be so pitiful. Ah! Uh. Detective, come over here for a second. Ah! Oh! I am so sorry, Detective Gumshoe. I am so sorry. I feel better knowing at least you were man enough to face your punishment. I'm so scared you just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, you have soiled my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? Wh what? Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Y yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ow. What did she throw on me now? What is this? Well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, alright? If you can, try not to let Miss Von Karma see you. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that was lovely. Uh, that was, uh, that was lovely. Get it twisted if you must. We must, we do what we must, Karma. Yeah. Can we break her for once in our life? Oh, boy. All right, bye, Saint Seiya. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp. Gumshoe was just doing his job, I know. Hey, it's Mr. Powers. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Ah, Mr. Powers. Have you been here the entire time? Yeah. People connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. Oh, poor Mr. Powers. Can you tell me a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? 
Okay. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program named towards kids. Sequel to the Seal Samurai. Let's see. This time, there are three samurai modes. Aluminum Samurai, Tim Samurai, and of course, the Nickel Samurai. It's a love Y in the old Tokyo. Let's see. Wait! A love what? A love Y. This girl, Saya, works at the tea shop and all three guys fall for her at the same time. Oh. I guess the Y shape is like the three brothers colliding over this one girl. Anyway, Sayo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. Sounds like an unusual situation. Take Romeo and Juliet times three. <laughs> yeah. Strange thing is, a sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Um. Yes, Pearl? What happens next? I want to know. Miss Sayo. Does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Oh my gosh. Pearl is obsessed with fairy tale love stories. <laughs> Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm going to stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week. I can't believe she's really considering it. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's the Jam and Ninja theme film? Started from a remake of an old movie, to tell you the truth. The Jam and Ninja, like the samurai shows, is geared towards kids. It's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall, but became a big pop star anyway. Uh, what? He was a really lousy ninja. He just absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. Boy, could he sing! This trusty bright red guitar in here needs to the ancient world by storm. Uh, a ninja with a bright red guitar? And then the final fight in front of his beloved princess Misola. Gammon versus the Muromachi 5. Suddenly, our bright hero catches a not so jamming cold the night before Battle 3. Oh, that's too bad for him. Yeah. This kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Yes, Pearl? Well, what happens next? I want to know. Gammon. The Gammon Ninja. Why do you sing? And what about Princess Misoa? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. Uh, what show should I watch? Hmm. I can't believe she's really considering it. Oh my god, poor Pearl. Also, I want to point out, Francisca calls us dishonorable, so she's just gonna forget what trouble she did behind the scenes in court? She probably would. Yep. Yep. She would. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little. So Mr. Powers like this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, let's see. Here's the thing. I don't really know her nowadays, you know? What? There's sort of a small rumor going on about her right now. A rumor? Ah, if you're interested, I'd be glad to share what I know. I'm so happy. He looks like a lion that just found his next meal. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, so you are interested in it. I figured you would be. Yeah. I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip, too. Oh, oh really? You, too, huh? Yeah, so take a look at this. Looks like a tablet in this old bag. Alright, let's see. Jammin Midnight Rendezvous. The mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Mr. A Mrs. A.A. You see now, don't you? What? You can stop pretending to be in the darkness, right? Juan Carita didn't have a manager of his own. Which means if we're talking about a certain manager with the initials AA. Adrian Andrews? Yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of odd. That woman, Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her clients? Ah, it's that wonderful thing that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy! Rose is just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Well, like the saying goes, 
one man's garbage and another man's treasure. Hmm. Magazine clipping. An article from the tabloid Gossip Land. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Franz doesn't deserve calling us dishonorable because she proved us proved time and time again that she's lower than her and will do anything to get herself called perfect case. Yeah, that's just the way she is. That's just the way she is. I think we can have an idea on what Lotta was after now. That big scoop that Lotta was after. Now that we have this newspaper clipping, I have a feeling that we know who this is about now. The way that Franz was approaching Phoenix is like how Goku was saying, Hey, it's me, Francisca von Garma. Oh, God. Hmm. Can't recall if that's new or old, just a minor thing. I believe that sprite was in the original game, but I don't remember. I thought, I think I'd remember the bright yellow suit, though. The thing is, Dark, I can't really hate her, and you'll discover why later. Lotta, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I? For my scoop. What I want to know is about the details of this scoop. That's not something I can tell you. I mean, that there's my bread and butter. All right, then. An unpleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you're looking into a skin. Arr! Could it be that you, Lana Hart, are looking for a break with a huge story? I am Perhaps thirsty. Perhaps I'm a scandal between Juan Korea and this person? Mm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a scandal with Juan Corrida and Miss Adrian Andrews? Hmm? Hmm? Sorry. All good. Miss Adrian Andrews, perhaps? This woman! She's Adrian Andrews, Mad On Guard's manager. <clears throat> the Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin' Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Oh, you're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But you can't make. <laughs> Voice you just made just. <laughs> but you can't just make up any old thing and think it'll make the papers. You gotta have a backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that, uh, that what's it called? Lawyer, the new sauce? Uh, you mean new source? That's it! So show me something that shows me that one guy had something with Miss Andrews. Oh, we just got that from, uh, from Mr. Powers. Take that. Ha, ha, ha. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid, Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. The mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. Ah! Mr. Korea didn't have a manager of his own. Amazing, mission complete. What's more, his rival, Mr. Ongar's manager, Adrian Andrews, she has the initials AA. You saw this article and thought to make take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were looking around Mr. Karita's door last night. Well. Unlock successful. Let's go. You 
were looking into Mr. Farida and Miss Andrew's affair, weren't you? You got it. I was gonna get myself a scoop by catching I'm him in a secret thirsty. meeting. Thank you for the hydrate. One day I'll play this game's trilogy alongside the Kingdom Hearts and Harvest Moon games. Yes. Dude. You got it. I was getting gonna get myself a scoop by catching up in a secret meeting. There's already an article about it in one of the weekly tablets. It's no longer breaking news. What'd you just say? Her initials were AA. What kind of vague thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are gonna want to see real proof. Well, at least I do. So that's what I was doing, getting photos. Oh. I'm gonna whip up the reader's interest with some gossip and a little misleading. Then spice it up a little and have myself an exclusive story. Wow, what a nice journalistic integrity you got there. I already finished writing up my spicy article, you know. But... The paper I wrote it on, my notes and myself, it's gone. A note to yourself? It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. They done run off the other. I came here for my big story. Didn't come here to have my treasure disappear on me. Yeah, I understand. It's enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell ya. What's with people nowadays? I never thought I'd see you the day when someone done steal something from me. I really want that note back, huh? I have no idea why. The story on that note is probably a bold face lot. Lana's camera. Stolen on the night of the murder. Tabloid article about the victim was in the case. Well, we finally have our answer with that. Hmm. I think... Now that we have that, though, we should be able to get everything from Old Bag. Let's go try and break those Cyclops of Old Bag. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's present this Magatama and get this over with. Two down, eight to go. boy. I haven't a blast just watching you play these games, so imagine how fun I'll have playing them by myself. Oh, yeah. It's always more fun to play. To play the game yourself. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. And please, tell us what you saw. Oh, oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at you youngin's expense. I, I am a little devil, after all. Um... Doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? Alright, I'll give you what you want. I'll give you what you want, huh? Hmm. You know what? She said something about a present. Wait, what? Hey, hey! What? Huh? Wait, I thought I got something from her. Wait. What? What? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, I'm confused. Hold on. With her glass dome on, it looked like an alien. Hmm. That's true. Let's see. Oh, I'm confused. Didn't we get something from Francisca? That should have been able to help us? Hold on. I don't think I have enough evidence. I should investigate and gather more clues before I try again. Hmm. Didn't we get a certain tape report? I thought we did. Yeah, I thought so. Hold on. I thought we got that autograph thing. Hold on. Let me check again. Oh! It's on the table. Oops. Ha 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 ha. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? The paper's got Mr. Corita's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here. 
See how it says to my dearest Wendy in normal letters here? <laughs> this sloppy, unreadable writing! It's crazy and cruel to get this to someone! Hold on. Hmm? Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. There we go. Alright. Now to give this to old bag. To the hotel lobby. Alright, try this again. Oh, look, Professor. There's something on the passenger seat. Alright, I guess... It's been a while. But now I guess I have to talk as Luke for a few minutes while doing this. Oh, boy. Alright. Luke, you're up, buddy. Okay. Um, alright. Whoa. What is this craziness? Um, uh, just go with it for now. Is this what Mr. Wright has to deal with? Goodness me. I already read this. You can skip this all week. Okay. Give you what you want. Oh yeah, you said something about an autograph. Brace yourself for this mess. For this mess? What do you mean? Take that! Is it really that bad? Th that! That's Wand's autograph! Yes, it is. And, and it even says to my dearest Wendy on it! Th that's me, right? Right? Uh... My name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy, but somehow I don't think one had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please give it to me! Let me have it, please! Uh, um, I can't let you have it just like that. Oh, what's going on back there? Yes, yes, I know. Then how about an exchange? Wow. She must really want this autograph. My offer isn't good enough for you? Fine, Mr. Wright, you win. With the old bag ready to open up her heart. All for my dearest one. Oh, goodness, this woman is crazy. By mess, I mean the stressfulness of this. Goodness gracious. Autograph given to Wendy Dearest. I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's room. You're kidding. Oh no! It was about ten minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And? Did you tell that to the police? Well, of course! I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. Gift certificate? Goodness, this girl is young. I don't believe we've met before, though. I've been recruited again for that part of the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow. This time, you're going to get it. I'm going to work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. But Mr. Ongard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about the details like that. I know he did it to my poor Juan. That yellow-bellied chicken. A yellow-bellied chicken? I wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad, and I say he did. What did Mr. Ungard ever do to her to deserve this? Oh, goodness. This is crazy. What did Mr. Ungard do to you to make you so... You don't know? That guy, he framed my one. He created that scandal that played raw one. Mr. Nick! What is it? What's a scandal? Oh, um, I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? Yes, best probably not to tell this poor little girl something like that. 
Fall on, led astray by the wiles of that vile temptress. Mr. Nick, what do vials and vile temptress, temptress mean? Ah! Um, how about we just listen to what Miss Oldbag has to say for now, okay, Pearl? Pearl? So, Miss Oldbag, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? That guy, he shoved the girl onto one on purpose. His own manager? But why? I thought lawyers were smart. It was to create a scandal to make one lose face. That girl drove one into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why do you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And do you have proof that Mr. Arngard did what you say he did? Next week issue of CERN magazine says so. Uh, of course. A tabloid. Oh, goodness. Tabloids certainly are interesting. Next week. Doesn't that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Oldbag have information like that? Where did she get it? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm done with this woman for now. <laughs> yeah, I'll take over from here. You did good though, Luke. Why is this woman so creepy? I don't know. And I don't like it. <laughs> uh, anyways, Luke, I'll take it from here. Ah, oh, goodness. Alrighty. On that note, I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. And this case is gonna take a while, too. There's a lot of dialogue and a lot of redeeming stuff. Dark, if someone redeemed talking as Luke and then a sing mode, would I sing in Luke's voice? Um, probably not. Probably not. That would be way too hard to try to do. Well, at least we're not dealing with that old fart come next stream. Well, at least for a minute. Come next stream, though, things are gonna be even more crazy. I think I lose all of my brain cells. That's fair. It's completely fair. Alright. Thank you so much for coming, everybody, though. Don't go anywhere just yet. Let's go ahead and find somebody to raid before we end up stream today. Goodness. Everybody hanging in there so far, though? Because <sighs> it's, uh... It's getting crazy. Who is available to raid today? Ah, you know what? It's been a while. Let's raid Pika Chica. Let's see what's Pika up to today. Ooh, okay. Hanging in there. He is having a B day celebration. Oh, <gasps> never mind. You know what? Let's go give Mia a raid because she's having a birthday celebration. Let's do that. Let's go raid Mia. Mia's playing Pal World by the looks of it right now, but it seems she's doing a two-year anniversary celebration. Ooh. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go give her a raid today. If you're headed over to the raid to raid Mia with us, be sure to type... No. Be sure to type Shades Lay Raid in the chat so that um, she knows we are here to support her. Also... If you're coming over for the raid, be sure to follow all of her rules as you would mine. And once again, as always, have fun. We do have a raid message that you can use that is completely follower friendly. So please do use that if you would like to do that or create one of your own. I'd be very curious to see all the different raid messages we can see. Alrighty. Agenda! Tomorrow there will be no stream because it is Wednesday and I do not stream on Wednesdays. But... I will be back on Thursday, and we will be back playing more Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. 
we will be making our way to Chinatown and facing off against the evil Professor Layton. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much for coming, everybody, and I will see you all on Thursday. Bye! Stay sharp, Shades Layers! <laughs>